guys, what's happening? So iPhones tend to have a very long update cycle, at least five to six years, if not more. And well, by the end of this cycle, many iPhones tend to get slowdowns or lags because the fact is that all of the apps that we're currently using are built to the phones that are currently available in the current gen specs. So at times, this can slow down your iPhones. And well, if you do see a slowdown before buying a new iPhone, the best thing to do is actually see this entire video and see all of the different ways that you might be able to fix that lag before you end up replacing your iPhone. So what are we waiting for? This is Gorang, you're watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. All right, so first up, let's talk about the storage on your iPhone. If the amount of storage left on your iPhone is not that much, well, the first thing to do could be to basically remove the apps and photos that are taking up space in order to make the iPhone faster because low storage space can result in a slower iPhone. To free up the space, open the settings app on your iPhone, then scroll down to general, and then type on iPhone storage from the following menu. And then check the detailed storage breakdown of your iPhone. If you're less on space, which can be, you know, a couple of GBs or less than that on your iPhone, it's time to delete the unnecessary apps. To do that, go to the app list and select the app that you want to uninstall. Tap the delete app button and then you'll get a confirmation for the same, which you have to confirm and then the app will be deleted. Apart from this, you can also check for the other different things that are taking up space on your iPhone and delete those things if you do not need it. This can be photos, this can be videos, this can be basically anything which you do not require permanently on your iPhone. Next up, another big reason reason for your iPhone lagging could be the battery health because the batteries are lithium ion batteries which have a certain number of charging cycles that they're capable of. A charging cycle is basically your phone going from zero to 100% and the number of these cycles is limited on every battery. The more you use your iPhone, the further the charging cycles have been exhausted and accordingly the battery health also deteriorates. So the second thing to do is to check the battery health left on your iPhone. To do that, open the settings app on the iPhone, scroll down to battery and then open battery health. And right beside maximum capacity, you will see the current battery health of your iPhone. So if your current battery health is anywhere less than 70 to 75%, well, it's time to book an appointment with the Apple service center and actually get your battery replaced because that could be the biggest cause for your slowing down iPhone and of course weaker battery life and apart from that you should also enable the optimized charging option so that even with the new battery your phone does not lose on battery health that fast next up even though iPhones seem to be very well optimized and they are the fact is that like any other device iPhones can also tend to get heated up. And when they do, the first thing that will happen is the iPhone will start slowing down in performance in order to throttle down the performance so that the processor does not overheat or the phone does not overheat. This could happen when you shoot a 4K video or play your favorite graphic intensive game for a couple of hours, the result of which will be the device temperature going up to an uncomfortable level. So in those cases, let your iPhone cool down for a few minutes, unless you want to run into glitches, lags and slowdowns. Next up, if your iPhone is lagging way too much and it just refuses to basically switch off or do anything, well, the next solution for this problem is force restarting your iPhone. To do that, press and quickly release the volume up button, repeat the same with the volume down button, and then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. After you see the Apple logo, then release the side button and your iPhone will be forced rebooted. When your iPhone reboots, try using it to check if you still face lag. Next up, the problem could have been caused by a third-party app. And the fact is that all of the third-party apps regularly get updates which fix bugs which can result in slower iPhone performance. So another thing that you could do is go to the App Store and update all of your apps. To do that, open the App Store on your iPhone, tap on your profile icon in the top right corner. From the following menu, you'll see an Update All button and tap on it to install the pending app updates. If you don't see it, then just refresh the menu once again and you should see the Update All button. All right, next up, we all know that the iOS keyboard is not the most perfect thing and we often tend to prefer other keyboard apps in order to type out all our messages and emails and everything. But on your older iPhones, this can cause a lag because third-party keyboards can lead to slowdowns in performance, especially when your iPhone does not have that much of RAM. And the greatest example of this lag can be observed when you try to go to Spotlight from your home screen. Whenever you swipe down, if it's a third-party keyboard, it will take some time to come up. And if it does, you know your iPhone is not well optimized to work 
with that third party keyboard. So the best thing to do in that case is to just switch back to the default iOS keyboard. It can take some time to adapt to it, but it's much better if you do not want to buy another iPhone and keep the one that you currently have. Moving along, your iPhone can often consistently search for better network connectivity if the bars on your phone are not more than two or three. And well, in that case, that can result in a lot of lag and slowdowns and high temperatures on your iPhone if this is consistently happening. So the best thing to do in that case is to just reset your network settings. To do that, open the settings app on your iPhone, then scroll down to general, from the following menu, select transfer or reset iPhone, then tap reset and from the list that appears, tap on reset network settings. This should reset your network settings and if you continue to face this issue, then the second thing that you should do apart from this is to just switch to another carrier which has better coverage. Next up, whenever a new iOS version comes out, like a major version, which is like the iOS 16, that was the recent one to launch, a lot of times, as has been the case with iOS 16, the number of bugs increases on the phone and that can often result in slowdowns or lags everywhere. When there are reports of such issues, Apple tends to release a smaller software update to basically fix all of these bugs. So another thing that you could do is actually check for an update to see if there is a smaller firmware update to fix all of these bugs or not. To do that, open the settings app on your iPhone and then head to general. From the following menu, tap on software update. Now, if Apple has released an update, it will appear here and you can just follow the on-screen instructions to update your iPhone. So if none of these tricks have worked so far, the final thing to do is the inevitable. Reset your iPhone. But first, take an iCloud backup of your phone. After you're done with your backup, head to settings app on the iPhone, then tap on general. And then from the following menu, tap on transfer or reset iPhone. From the following page, select erase all content and settings and then follow the on-screen instructions. And then when you're done with the reset, just restore everything to your iPhone from your iCloud backup. And well, that's pretty much it. If you want to see more content on your iPhone, like customizing it through wallpaper apps, tap on the card here. If you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the red subscribe button. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gorang, and I'll see you in the next one.